Today, my son Ben and I are gonna show you a game we just created called Fact Face Off. It's a really easy game that you can use to play with your students or if you're a parent at home with your child um, to practice either multiplication facts or addition facts. It really only uses a regular standard set of deck of cards. Um, for this game, we're gonna keep all the cards in. The value of the, the numeral cards is gonna be that number. So if it's a two card, it's worth two. If it's a seven card, it's worth seven. If it's an ace for this game, aces are gonna be worth one. We're going to, for this game, decide that the jacks are gonna be worth 10, and the king and the queen are 11. Now the joker we wanna leave in as well. We're gonna make that the wild card, and whoever plays that can decide what they want the value of that card to be between one and 10. So we're gonna start this game, Ben and I. We simple, simply shuffle the cards and lay them face down. Ben and I are each gonna take three cards. Now, you can play this game with more than two people. If you do, each player would take three cards. So we're gonna show you right now. I'm gonna take three cards from the pile. Ben's gonna take three cards from the pile. And we're gonna hold them in our hands so that nobody can see them. Then what we're gonna do is we're each gonna lay one card down in front of us. The next step is that each one of us are gonna take another card from our hand and lay it down for our opponent. So I'm gonna lay it down for my opponent. Ooh, we both laid the same card. So we both laid an ace, which is, has a value of one. Now we're both gonna flip over our cards and we're going to make a multiplication equation out of our cards. So I would say I have one times four, which is four. Ben, what's your equation? 10 times one. And what's the product, Ben? 10. So now we compare our answers. Ben had a product of 10, I had a product of four. Ben, who has the, the greater amount? Me. <laughs> so now Ben will take all four cards and keep those as his score. Now we each have one card left in our hand, so we would take two more cards so that we always start around with three cards. So go ahead, Ben, you can take your new cards. And we continue just like we did in the first round. I lay down a card in front of me, my face down card. Now each one of us takes a card and gives it to the other person. We flip over our original cards. Ben, go ahead, what's your equation? 10 times 10 equals 100. I have 10 times four, which is 40. So yet again, Ben has the greatest uh, product. So he takes all four cards. So again, round three, we fill our hands so that we each have three cards. Each lay a card face down. Now we each give each other a card. Flip them over. Ben, what's your equation? Nine, I mean, 11 times four equals. Forty-four. And I have 11 times nine, which is 99. So I have the greatest sum this time, so I take them all. Now, if we should happen to get a joker, and let me just pull one out here. Let's say, Ben, go ahead and take that. Ben's gonna have a joker. I'm gonna let him play it so we can demonstrate. Let's say on this round, we each put a card down, face down. We each give each other another card. Now we flip them over. Oh, Ben gave me the joker. Okay, so if I have the joker, whether he gave it to me or I laid it, I would say, uh, I think I want the joker to be 10. So I would have 10 times 11, which is 110. Ben, what's your? Nine times one equals one, I mean nine. Yes, so we have, clearly I have the greatest product, so I would take them all. This game is really simple. Instead of multiplying, if you wanted to practice addition, you could just um, have your students state an addition equation with their two cards and find the sum, the person with the greatest sum wins. You could also play with four cards in your hand where you lay down two face down and give you know, your opponent another card so you would potentially add three add-ins together to find a sum. There are all sorts of different variations, but we just thought this was a really easy way to play. And players continue until all these cards in this stack are gone. Once they're gone, you just count the total number of cards you have in this in your um, your winning stack, and whoever has the most is declared the winner for the whole game. 
We hope you enjoy the game. Give us some feedback. We'd like to hear how you adapted it or if you used it with your students or played it with somebody. We'd love to hear how it went. Have a great day.